Welcome to the algorithms section. This is a word that immediately just sounds nice, right? All the companies are using it these days to sound like they're doing something really, really important. Everybody has a secret algorithm that they use to make machine learning models, analyze user data, make companies lots of money. But underneath the hood, algorithms are just functions that programmers write. A two-line function is technically an algorithm. A thousand-line algorithm that sorts through images is also an algorithm. The algorithms are simply steps in a process that we take to perform a desired action with computers. If we go to Wikipedia and search list of algorithms, the list is pretty endless. There are a lot of algorithms. It's impossible to know all of them. You can create your own algorithms. You can use other algorithms that are popular and well-established. But let's get back to our question of what are algorithms. If we combine our knowledge of data structures, the ones that we worked on in the previous sections, algorithms allow us to use language built in data structures like arrays and objects, or primitives such as integers and booleans, and even custom data types like we did when we used the class keyword to create stacks, queues, binary search trees. Well, algorithms allow us to use these data structures to perform actions on that data. Remember this, right? Data structures and algorithms create programs. In this course, we're going to talk about the most common interview algorithms. So that long list on Wikipedia won't be as intimidating because we're only going to focus on the ones that matter, especially for interviews, but also the ones that matter most in your career. Specifically, we're going to go over these topics when it comes to algorithms. Now, why are these algorithms so common in interviews? and especially in big companies? Well, you can get away with not knowing these topics for a long time as a programmer. But as we have learned, big O and scalability of code is important as companies get larger and larger. By learning these listed algorithms, we're able to do majority of the scaling we need to improve our programs. Remember our big O cheat sheet? And how we haven't really talked about O log N and O N log N? maybe a little bit in the previous videos. Certain algorithms allow us to simplify our big O complexity into smaller or better time complexity. So that by using the right algorithm, I can take a function that has a big O of this notation down to something of O n log n, or something that has a linear time complexity to O log of n. And these are used everywhere in large companies because large companies handle lots of inputs lots of data. So this topic is extremely important to them. And as your career grows and grows, these topics will be more and more important to you. So let's dive in to our first topic. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.